It's time to get your game on, Niagara. This is Game On with Rob Mahood and Tom McConnell. Only on Niagara's News Talk 610 CKTV. Jingle Bell Brawl 2 in support of the Niagara Children's Center is this Saturday at the Merritt Community Center, bell time, 6 p.m., and the executive director of the Niagara Children's Center, NCC, Jim Marino, will join the program next. This is Game On. It's Tuesday. Welcome back to Game On. We mentioned it. We just gave away the Crossfire Wrestling's Jingle Bell Brawl 2. This Saturday at the Meriton Community Center, 6, p- 6 p.m. bell time, Jake the Snake Roberts in town, but all for a great cause, the Niagara Children's Center, and I'm sure it's a busy time at the Children's Center. Pleased to be joined right now by the Executive Director, Jim Marino. Welcome to Game On. Hi, Rod and Tom. How are you doing? Good, Jim. How are you? Great. Great show this afternoon. Thank you. Listen, busy time at the NCC, I- I'm guessing, especially around the holidays, isn't it? Well, you know, looking back, we've had about uh, 35 different fundraising events to date. And uh, as you mentioned, uh, well, quite often throughout the course of your show this afternoon, the Jingle Bell Brawl is uh, the next one on the agenda. That's coming up this Saturday night. And by the way, thanks for the tremendous plugs. Boy, you guys are really pushing it. The way you're going to town, we should have a full house. Let's hope we do. It's it's uh, fun. And I want to ask you that because Tom was surprised yesterday when I said Jingle Bell Brawl 2. Right. You were at Jingle Bell Brawl 1 last year. And, and, and Crossfire Wrestling truly does put on a great family show, don't they? You know, I can't say enough about Chris La- LaPlante. He is just one tremendous guy. You know, not a, not only is he a great wrestler, he's a great gentleman. And he's really been pushing the daylights out of the Niagara Children's Center. And we really appreciate it. Hey, oh, what? Oh, go, sorry, go Jimmy. Uh, I just want to ask you because uh, uh, you have a connection with wrestling with uh, King Kong Mosca. Helps out with the, right. you know with the Sports Hall of Fame. Were you a big wrestling fan growing up? I, I mean, was this something uh, uh, you've you know you associated later in life, or were you always interested in uh, in, in pro wrestling? I was always interested in pro wrestling. I don't think there was a bigger fan anywhere than my dad. You know, he used to get a great big kick out of it. And I can remember as a young guy, he used to take me up to the Niagara Falls uh, Arena for the fights up there. And mm-hmm. I'll never forget one day the Brunetti brothers were there. And... Uh, it was an interesting story because uh, they had lost the fight, and then the referees had to change their mind because there wouldn't have been, there would have been pandemonium had had it been otherwise. Yeah, amazing to think. Did you have a favorite wrestler back in the day, Jim? Brunetti brothers. But you know, how can I say anything but good about uh, King Kong? He's he's been. A, you you mentioned Tom that he's been a big supporter of the Children's Center. You talk about gentlemen. He's a, he's a big teddy bear too. He looks like a big gorilla, but boy, teddy bear when it comes right down to it. And uh, he just loves the kids here, and he does so much for us throughout the course of the year, just like you guys do. Can't say enough about you either. Now, uh, Jingle Bell Brawl 2, uh, are you going to be ringside at this? Are you taking part in it? Are you going to be the official timekeeper, the scorekeeper, or are you worried that somehow uh, you're going to get involved in the fracas at all? I am going to be a very interested spectator. Okay, Mm -hmm. fair enough. I'm a chicken when it comes right down to it. (laughs) Listen... But I'll tell you, you know, I was talking about Chris. The way they, those guys were slam, slamming, uh, being slammed around last year was just unbelievable. How can they take it? You'd hear the thud, and, it, uh, you know, you'd feel like uh, you were there, too. Yeah, very. you know what? A lot of people don't realize how much athleticism has to go into that, for sure. It is entertainment, but it also takes a lot of, uh, a lot of skill. No Ex- question. Executive Director of the Niagara Children's Center, Jim Marino, live on Game On. Now, I know tickets are available at the NCC, Niagara Children's Center, if need be. If anyone wants uh, to find out or help out during the holiday season with the Niagara Children's Center, where can they go, Jim? They can give me a call here at 905-688-3550, extension 106. And you fellows know as well as I do that Miracles happen every day, thanks to very generous people here in the Niagara Peninsula. You know, this was a real fun event, and it's not always about the money. Mm-hmm. It's about entertainment, it's fundraising, it's fundraising. All kinds of things go into making it a most enjoyable, entertaining night 
for a good cause. Jimmy, just as a preview, I know you talked about, you know, you've done 35 fundraising events. you got this coming up this weekend. If you look ahead over the next, is it, it are, do you take a break over the holidays, or do you have other things coming up uh, for the Niagara Children's Center? Tom, what you have to do when uh, the slate runs dry for the end of the year, you start planning for next year. And that's a good thing about the foundation here at the Children's Center. We have some great people on our board, and they get deeply involved. It's not just a point of taking the check. It's saying thank you. It's going out and becoming a part of all the events, too. That's what it's all about. As I say, it's fun raising, too. And it is going to be fun this weekend at the Meriton Community Center, 6 p.m. bell time, Jingle Bell Brawl 2, in support of the Niagara Children's Center. And Tom and I only have one request, Jim, this uh, Saturday night. If you do see him, he calls himself the manager of champions, Jay Moore, but just remember the chant. Watch your back. No oh, more. Oh, I know. I, I saw him last year. No more, Jay Moore. Just remember that chant this Saturday night. No more, Jay Moore. Okay. All right, Jim, all the best. Thanks a lot, and uh, thanks for the continued support of the Children's Center. On behalf of over 3,000 uh, 3, kids, you guys are doing a great job, and there's no bigger supporters. And you know what? It's a, it's a special time up there, of course, with the holiday season, and this show hopefully will uh, raise some more funds for some special people at the Niagara Children's Center. Jim Marino, Executive Director, thanks for joining Game On today. Thank you, guys. Have a good one. Take care.